All right, Shalom. First of all, we want to give all praises due to Yahweh, 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 honest to the apostles of GMS, and Shalom to you brothers. That's across the world pushing this truth. Okay, I'm Karate Zakba. That's the brother tonight. Barak Allah. Barak Abba. All right, and you know we out here in the park, you know, to do a lesson, we push the word of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, and while we was um, you know, walking through the park. You know, to get to this area, you know, we, we was um, just talking on how, you know, the world is, you know, how people in the world, they're just, you know, comfortable. They created a comfortable place in their minds, man, to, to live in, all right? And, you know, pretty much, pretty much the, the world, people of the world, they just want to live in a comfortable mindset. They just want to live comfortably um, no matter what's going on in the earth, you know, no matter what's going on in the world. Only thing they care about is their comfortability. And, you know, through the scriptures, we understand that, look, the Most High, he's getting ready to bring destruction upon this world, um, getting ready to bring his plagues, okay, and deliver the elect, the righteous, and what? Bring destruction upon the wicked. All right, and that's our job to go out there and teach and to let our people know, look, come out of your simplicity, come out of your um, your ways of comfortability, all right, because this world is wicked, and our people don't understand that the Most High is angry with this place. The Most High is getting ready to bring destruction, all right? So, you know, the elect, the elect of them is going to come out of that um, being comfortable and make those sacrifices you know, to return into the Lord and do what they got to do. But we're going to get the first scripture. It's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Yeah, so you brethren are not in darkness. Why? Because we have the light. The light is Yahweh Shah. Okay, we have the way of truth in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So we're not in darkness like the rest of the world. The rest of the world, two thirds of Israel, they're in a um, state of darkness. Okay, here it is with all this um, um, pride. Here, you know, we in June. This is this Pride Month. Oh. All right, and all this wickedness going on, and Jake, Jake is comfortable. You know, oh, as long as you know they're not hurting nobody and this and that. But that's not the mindset you're supposed to be in. Okay. Um. You know, our brother Barack Obama, you know, mentioned how, you know, some someone, you know, they, you know, they don't want to listen to the news because what? They tired of hearing about all the, uh, you know, crazy stuff going in the world, you know? So they, so they decide not to, you know, listen to the news and stuff. But, you know, that's just our people. They just want to live peaceably in their minds, you know? With, that's not what it's about, man. This is about coming back into your house by Shemi Awashah. Ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief mm -hmm. yeah and what's that day that's going to over um take the rest of the world by a thief okay the day of yahweh bashim yahweh shah all right the day of the lord returning bringing what destruction upon the earth judging the earth for the wickedness that's going on it says ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Yeah, so that's referring to the elect. We are the children of the light and of the day. Because we have this, this light, which is the knowledge, and the day represents the kingdom. Okay? Because the kingdom of heaven is for the elect. But we are not of the night and of darkness, man. This, this, this Esau society represents the night. Okay? Because what? After the night, the day, the day have to come which is the day of our Lord, uh -huh. all right? So two thirds of our people, they in darkness. Why? Because they blinded from seeing the truth. They don't have the light, they don't have the light to um, guide them through the world, through this world, man. Uh -huh. Because if you're in the mindset of um, um, accepting homosexuality as normal, you're in, the, you're in, you're in darkness, man. Yeah. Okay. 
you're in darkness. If you're walking around talking about genderless this and that, or you can identify yourself as whatever you want, you're in darkness, man. Yeah. You know, freedom of religion, you're in darkness. Not looking for the signs of the times, you know, like the brothers going into, that's being in darkness, right? You're supposed to look at the news. You're supposed to watch current events. You're supposed to watch alternative news sites and channels so you can know what's really going on oh, yeah. because the Lord told us to watch as well as pray that that day don't overtake us, that the day of the Lord, which is the day of judgment. So read it on. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Yeah, so therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Why? Because the rest of the world, they're spiritually sleep. Two-thirds of our people, they're spiritually sleep. They having a, they have the Lord having a, awoken them, opened their minds up to the truth. All right, and to understand the prophecies of that's getting ready to take place. So it says, we are not of the night nor of darkness. Let us there, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Right, so let us watch and be sober. So we're, we're sober minded. We're not spiritually drunk off of philosophies of the world that Esau you know, pushes upon the people. So we're, we're sober minded. Why? Because we have the understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Okay? So, read that part again. It says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Let us watch and be sober. Yeah, so let us not sleep as do others. Because the world is sleep. Okay? The world, the world is sleep. Because they don't have this truth. The word sober in the Greek is nepho or nepho. It says to be sober, to be calm and collected in the spirit, to be temperate, to dispassionate, to be circumspect. Yeah, so it's to be temperate, meaning to do things in moderation. You don't overindulge in things. Right? Yeah. This passion is circumspect, which we know circumspect means to look around. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of what's going on. Just like you'll watch the weather before you go to work, or you'll look at the weather before you go outside, because you're being sober-minded, you're being aware of the weather or the signs, so you know how to dress accordingly. So the Lord told us the same thing. Be aware of what time period you're living in. Be aware of how you're living, right? Because we are living in the end of days. So we have to dress accordingly because we're living in the end of days. We have to live accordingly because we're living in the end of days. So read it on. It says, verse 7, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Yeah, so they that be sleep, sleep in the night. And they that are drunken are drunken in the night. All right? And that goes hand in hand. You know, we hey, we, we see um, what happens when, what, people get drunk. They usually get drunk in the nighttime. Yeah. Okay? Uh, you know, partying all night. Mm -hmm. Drunk or people go to sleep at night. Physically, you know? But what? This, this, this night represents the society, man. All right, the inner Esau society, and a lot of people are sleeping, spiritually sleep, and a lot of people are spiritually drunk, man. Drunk off of what? The philosophies, uh, the democracy and the philosophies of Esau, okay? The, the, the reason why the people have uh, the, mind, the mindset that they are in is why? Because Esau pushed these um, philosophies upon them, mm -hmm. you know, the way of thinking, all right? Freedom of religion, um, accepting homosexuality, um, going to, going to college to get a get a um, degree in this, a master's in this, okay? No, uh, uh, um, accepting all 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 
you know, forms of life, man. That's that's that wicked philosophy that Esau pushes. Okay, so I so the world is spiritually sleep, spiritually drunk. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. This is John three and nineteen. It says, and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Yeah. So. Light, light has come into the world. That light came into the world by Yahweh Shah coming on the scene. Okay? But what? It says men hate darkness rather than light. And that's why the majority of our people um, don't want to accept this truth. When we out there on the highways and byways teaching, and they walk by or they don't want to hear it or they shun it. Because they um, they love darkness rather than light. Okay, because Yahweh Shah is the light. And why they love that darkness rather than light? But why? Because they love committing wickedness. They love, Israel love wickedness more than to do the righteous thing. Yeah. They love to go against the um, law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Scriptures say in Jeremiah that they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And they don't want the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And you know, because what? To what? Do the right righteous thing or to serve the Lord you have to make sacrifices. You have to um deny yourself. You have to make adjustments in life, which Jake don't want to do. They wanna do what's comfortable to them, um, what's pleasing to their flesh, and instead of what's pleasing to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. What's that, Isaiah 30? We also get that. Back to that was it? God knows it. I got uh, Isaiah 29 and 10. It says, I'll read 9. It says, Stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Yeah, so, and that's our people. They are drunken, but not with wine. They're showing you that they're spiritually drunk. Right. All right, they stagger, but we're not with strong drink. So this is not talking about physically drinking, drinking wine, drinking alcohol. No, it's talking about them being spiritually drunk or for the philosophies or for the ide ideologies of the world. Okay? Um, not knowing who their power is. Not knowing um, the will of the Lord. All right? Still, here it is, 2023. You still got the majority of our people into that Christianity BS, believing in on some, you know, white Jesus. Well, that, that's that's the idol, okay? They still don't understand that the look, the Lord is black. The Lord only died for the nation of Israel. That the kingdom of heaven is only for the nation of Israel, okay? That the so-called white man is the devil, according to the Bible. Our people still don't understand that. It says, for Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep mm -hmm. and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. Yeah, and that's why our people is in the state that they're in. They all, they all blinded. They all, they all spiritually dead. Okay? Um, just look at our community, man. Look at the ghettos. Look at Jake in the ghettos of the community. Look at the so-called leaders. Look who you got just as your so-called leaders. All right, um, you got, uh, well, what, you always, every time a situation happens, you always look to Jesse Jackson, I, Al Sharpton, those guys ain't no leaders. They, they're blinded too. Mm -hmm. Farrah Coon, all right, all into that, that Islam madness, breaking down scriptures wrong, you know? So these are not true, these are not true leaders because why? They can't um, bring you into the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Shah. They don't understand the prophecies of the Bible. Okay? They can't warn you of the signs to come. The end time events. Okay? Which we're doing. We're the true watchmen. We're the true prophets. We're the true men that are sent from Yahweh Bashem Shah to convey the message. Yeah, to add on to that list, you got TD Snakes, mm -hmm. Creflo Dollar, mm -hmm. uh, Joel Austin, right? These are some more false leaders right. that's a plague in our community. Mm -hmm. Who else? In today's times, you know, you got the entertainers, 
our people look at entertainers for leadership, for guidance, for wisdom, right? And the entertainers is causing you to err because they're not leaders, right? Mm -hmm. So reading on, it says the prophets and your rulers, the seers have ye covered. The vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee, and he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. Yeah, and that's, that's the word of Yahweh Shemel Shah, it's sealed unto you, okay? And that's why a lot of these um, so-called leaders and so-called pastors, they can't, they can't actually go into the scriptures and break things down. That's why when certain events happen, like the, um, you know, the sea ragamuffin, when that came, you know, what, these, these, these so-called leaders in the state of confusion, all right, they, they don't know what to tell the people, or if a um, hurricane or, you know, whatever, <coughs> a tornado, you know, tear things up, if destruction, any type of destruction come upon, you know, the earth, these leaders have no explanation. Oh, we, we just got to pray, pray for the ones. No. The scriptures speak about judgment, man. Yeah. We don't, well, what, the, what the hell these people don't understand that bad things happen on the earth is because they don't consider that maybe the Lord is judging you for your wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. These people don't consider that. That's why every time something bad happens, they're in a state of confusion. We got to pray and ask, you know, like what's going on? And, you know, we just pray to the, we pray to pray to God. You know that things will get better. It don't work that way, man. The Most High is going to bring the Most High is bringing judgment upon America for their for their wickedness, for their sins. The Most High is judging you for your sins, your transgressions. So it says, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee," and he saith, "I am not learned." Mm -hmm. With Wherefore the Lord say, for as much as this people draw near with me, I said, as for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah, and that's and that's um how our people go about serving the Lord, man. By with just lip service, okay. The people who they say, first of all, they don't even call on the true name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, they call on God and Jesus Christ, yeah. right? Which is which are titles, man, which is not uh, the true name of the Most High and His Son, but they go about with lip service, yeah. You know, you got to pray and ask God for this and this, and you know, God comes first. That is, but you, you're just talking. Your actions don't show. They don't match. Your actions don't match because if if, if you truly put God first, you will rehearse His um, law, statutes, commandments. You right. have faith. Right. Scripture say, if you love me, keep my keep commandments. My commandment. But Jake is not keeping their command. Keeping, um, they're not rehearsing the righteous acts of the how Yahweh Bashem Shah. Okay. Um, that, that was it. Was Isaiah 30? Yeah, 30 or oh, what? Real quick. CSC like 10. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Proverbs 21 and uh, 16. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, that's right. So that's why it's important to, um, if you have this knowledge, man, hold on to it. You know, hold on tight to this knowledge, man. Because if you wander out of the way of understanding, you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead. Because what? Our people, our people, they're in that congregation of the dead, man. It's being spiritually dead. Okay? Because this, you having this truth, you having this word makes you alive. All right? The scripture speak about the uh, Ezekiel 37 chapter, the dry bones okay. that, that lived. Okay. And the breath came into them. Why? Because that's us have, coming back into this knowledge, man. But we're not a part of those dry bones or that congregation of the dead. All right? You want that? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did I say it? Yeah. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, mm -hmm. lying children, children that will not hear 
the law of the Lord. Yeah, so, and that's Israel. A lying, a rebellious lying people, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. That it says, that will not hear the law of the Lord, mm -hmm. which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, mm -hmm. speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Yeah, so they, they say that by their actions. Okay, because we're, we're, we represent the true seers or the true prophets. Why? Because we're teaching the right things um, that the Lord you know, gave us. We're, we're breaking down the scriptures properly. Okay, but what? Two thirds through their actions tell us to, you know, see not, prophesy not into them right things. They don't want to hear the right things. They want to hear the um, smooth things, the things that sound comfortable to them, the things that are pleasing to them, the things that where they can take and just and live life comfortable comfortable and peaceably you know so they want to hear the deceitful things god loves everybody judgment is not going to come okay that's why people flock to um leaders like that okay people flock flock to the leaders like that so you can do you know you can live your life how you want to live and the, and the most high is going to accept it. Yeah. It says, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, mm -hmm. prophesy deceits. Yeah, so prophesy deceits. They want to hear deceitful things. Hey, man, you know, when when, when Nate said, what, uh, the time, there is no time of Jacob's trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble not going to come. You know, I mean, you know how many guys in that congregation probably said, whew, you know? And, you know, going about living their life and, you know, doing their Israelite videos, music videos, wrestling matches, and um, all, you know, because they're they comfortable. They want to be comfortable. They don't want to um, go to the straight gate, yeah. you know? They want to do what they want to do and hear that there's no consequences behind the actions. Get you out of the way. Turn it aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Yeah, so cause the Holy One, yeah, get the prophets out of the path and cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before them, man. And that's why um, they don't like to believe, that's why a lot of our people, they don't believe on that name. All right, they don't believe on that name. Okay. You know, they don't believe on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. All right, or they don't, they don't fully Except Yahweh Shah, they don't fully, um, they're not fully putting on Yahweh Shah how they're supposed to, okay, or keeping Yahweh Shah's words. That was it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Jake today, they don't want to hear anything bad, you know, because Yahweh Shah comes, he said, he's he comes to bring a sword, not peace. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake don't want to hear that. Jake want to hear, I keep my job, I could, I could work, I could feed my family. But the struggle, like, this, these, this struggles is what Jake used to, you know? But when things get real bad, like, Jake looking like, yo, how bad could he, like, how bad could he get? I got used to this. So Jake is comfortable on the East Source Kingdom, you know? But now we had a, we had a time where things are about to get worse. Like, right now we have the the uh, the Fed now. It's coming into play next month. Jake don't want to talk about it. Jake don't want to hear about it. But it's just going to happen, you know? And that's how the day of the Lord is going to be. You didn't want to hear about it, but guess what? It's gonna happen. Okay. I got a quick precept. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and uh, one. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Yeah, and those those false prophets, man. Okay. The false prophets call themselves Israelites, but what? They're scattering the sheep of the Lord. When you're teaching that, the um. Karagma is sin or Christianity or believing in some white Jesus, that's you're scattering the sheep, man. Because the Karagma we know is that that um shit, man. Alright? So you're supposed to be you supposed to be gathering the sheep and not scattering. But the false prophets are out there to scatter. Okay? It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people 
ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. Yeah, so like it says in Ezekiel third chapter, man, a lot of blood is gonna be on your hands. Because you haven't visited them with the truth. So the Lord is gonna require um their blood upon your hands. So the most high is gonna destroy you force teachers, you force leaders with the with the people, with your congregation. Alright? Uh, it says, uh, And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And that's what's you know, going on now, man. Mm -hmm. The flock of the Lord is being gathered from the, from the four corners of the earth. That's why you have Israelites that are waking up throughout all na you know, out of all nations that might look like the other nations, but what? Um, they're Israelites, and they believe they believe in on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and they come back, and they're coming back into the fold. That great awakening is happening now, man. Yeah. Okay. Spirit have to wear to say fruitful increase. Mm -hmm. Spirit have to wear, you know, the apostles started out there in the house in Bowie's in New York, mm -hmm. you know, but you didn't see, you know, the apostles hop on the plane or or the the um, CT bishop hop, hop on the plane and go to the, to the um the country or go to, you know, different states or out, out of state and to gather men. No, nah, men just started popping up. So that's how you know it was. this was a thing of men. You know, this is how about Shimi, how it's It's all the spirit. That's the spirit. Sevaniah chapter 1, verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles mm -hmm. and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Yeah, that's right. So, so the scriptures say. I'm going to just go back. I'm going to pick up, right? Stop picking that up, right? What? Right. So pick it up? I doubt yeah. it. But, okay, you can read it again. Zephaniah 1 and 12, and it shall come to pass that at that time, that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lead. Yeah, so at that time, I will punish, it says, um, I will search Jerusalem with candles, man. And what's that talking about? That's talking about the Most High, he's searching out the wickedness of Jerusalem, okay? With, with candles. Because Jake, Jake, their, their, um, their sins are, are, are great, man. The transgressions are great. So the Lord is, is is putting a light on it. The Lord is gonna put that light or that shine that candle on their wickedness and punt, you know, bring judgment upon them. And he said that he's gonna what punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Okay? The leaves is what? The dregs that the settlement um of wine, which sits comfortable. And that's that's a representation of our people or you know the so-called leaders of Israel they're, they're, they're sitting comfortably man sitting at ease just look at look at these guys who call themselves Israelites look at the IUIC man look at the men look at their con they're, they're, they're comfortable alright you can tell they're not going through no um, chastisements no tribulations no adversities they're comfortable in their money they have things going good for them so the Most High is eventually going to punish them. The Most High is going to expose their wickedness, judge them for their wickedness, and um, put them in a state of adversity, man, in a time. So they're going to go through their adversity once the Most High bring these plagues, man. Once the Most High bring destruction. All right? Shake you up out of your comfortability and bring destruction upon you. The time of Jacob's trouble upon you. You know? So that it, it says to punish the men that are settled on their leaves, mm -hmm. that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, ain't no time of Jacob's trouble coming. You know, Nick said, Nick said that out of his own mouth. Mm -hmm. So now, what? Now, as you be gay, said Jacob's trouble is gay. <laughs> you got to be gay to say Jacob's trouble 
has happened. But the, but the scriptures say it. So they were, so so pretty much your word um, voids out the Most High's word. Do not, the, not the scriptures say that the Most High words don't go without void? So whatever the, whatever um, the Most High say he's going to do, he's going to do it. The Most High is not a man that he shall lie. And that's the thing. You guys think you're over the Most High. And the Most High is going to show you that you're no, no, nothing but men. Okay, what else are you I got something real quick because you said, uh, you mentioned the leaves, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we don't know the leaves about the wine bottles. Mm -hmm. This is just like a, a precept for that. This is uh, Jeremiah 48 and 11. Moab has been at ease mm -hmm. from his youth and he has settled on his leaves mm -hmm. and has not been emptied from vessels to vessel right neither has he gone into captivity therefore his taste remaineth in him and his scent is not changed yeah that's right so just like it refers to moab being settled in a lease being in a state of comfortability yeah. all right um not being um judged no no adversity coming upon him so the most high is eventually going going to um bring destruction just yeah. like how he did back then to those nations that were settled and ultimately he's going to bring destruction upon america because america is sitting comfortable too all right it speaks about that in um jail what's that uh, isaiah 40 47 chapter i have the daughter of babylon God. you know who, who have who haven't been touched but guess what that time of her being touched it's coming real soon, man, where the Most High is going to bring violence. You know, the scripture say, thus, thus with violence of that great city Babylon shall be overthrown, man. That's right. You know? It says, uh, it says, Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will send unto him wanderers, right? And shall cause him to wander, and shall empty his vessels and break there are bottles. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. So just break, like you like broke it down, just like that. How Moab was uh, is um living living in a calm state, in a relaxed state, which he is now because Moab, you know, was in the it was Moab would be um China, right? China ain't really, you know, China been living good. All these nations, cause why wow, they had who in who in captivity, so called Negroes, Latinos. And Native Americans, but now all these nations are gonna feel that that uh, that hell, you know. And uh, just like that, it says it's gonna break their bottles. So, like how the scripture said in um, Zephaniah, uh, people are at, at, at settle on their leaves. The Lord's gonna break those bottles, man. And He's gonna do that by way of all sorts of judgment, you know, the famines, um, pestilence, okay, uh, the lack of bread, lack of water, um, concentration camps. You know, the, um, war and drafts, and ultimately it's going to be those those uh, those nukes, along with those chariots of heavenly Father. That's going to be zapping two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino. This is uh, Ecclesiastes five and seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, man, make no turn to turn to, to the Lord, okay? And this is really speaking to the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? When it says turn to the Lord, it means in, in, in truth, man, the true, the true, the true uh, understanding, the true wisdom, wisdom not understanding of the scriptures, not half-assing, but 100%, not 50%, not 85%, 100% truth, okay? And serving the Lord to the best of your ability. It says, make no, no tariff to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right? This doesn't happen at a sudden. You know, you might say next tomorrow, you might say you have time, or you might plan setting out, but it's already planned out. Right. You know, the Lord already planned it out, man. The Lord says he's going he's gonna to catch you when you least expect it as a thief in the night. So you don't want to be the victim in this thing. All right? You want to you have salvation when, when the Lord decides to bring down that judgment, you won't be a part of that salvation. It says, 
and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance in your security okay because what's what really your security is supposed to be in your how about shimmy how it shot there's no other security okay so if you insecure to anything else the lord's going to destroy you because you didn't have faith in him okay and, and yeah. Oh, no. yeah 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 just like um in these in these last days too you know because what's gonna um in scripture say wisdom is knowledge should be the stability at our time you know? no. so we have this knowledge man it's nothing we can do to um try to it's nothing we can do on our own to what save us or to guide us in the times to come, man. In the times of, uh, you know, the MOTB, martial law, famine. It's nothing we can do right now. There ain't no, ain't no amount of money you could try to save up. And ain't no amount of food you could try to store up to, you know, save you from these times. But people of the world, you know, they have that mindset. Doomsday prepping and all this. They have that mindset of them trying to do what they you know, do it on themselves, do it, do it by themselves, man. We got to trust in the Lord. The Lord is our shield, the scripture says the Lord is our shield and buckler. Right. All right. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. So our only way out is by having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, yeah. believing in on Him as our protector. Yeah. Any other way is going, is going to lead you to your destruction gonna lead you to your demise because this end time destruction is coming from Yahabashim Yahusha. So he's the only one who can deliver us out of it. You know? But Jake two thirds of Jake don't have that mindset. Okay? They they they, they rely on Esau. And that's why a lot of that's why the majority of our people they're gonna take that um karagma when the time comes. Because that's who they trust in and, and they don't trust in the Lord. And that's gonna lead into their destruction. Yeah, their God is the government. Their God is Egypt. Mm -hmm. Their God is their belly. And the scriptures tell us, the Messiah told us, they that seek to save their lives shall lose their lives. And they that lose their lives for the name of the Lord's sake shall find life everlasting. And this is what we're looking for, life everlasting. We're not seeking to save our lives in this world because there's no way to save your life but through Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah is the one that's bringing death. So why not give up your life for the one that's bringing death to the world? Right? right. Is, I got something for you here. Luke 21 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always mm -hmm. that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So there you go, man, you know. People want to doomsday prepping all these things, but scriptures say, watch ye therefore and pray always, okay? What are we watching for? The end times, all right? We're watching for judgment, okay? Like the brother stated earlier, you gotta be watching all these different news sources, all right? The, listening to the the radio, when you turn the radio on, you gotta, you gotta put on the news, man. You can't just put no music every time. All right, because you gotta watch and watch and watch for these prophecies coming to pass. And we see them coming to pass through the Spirit. And pray always that that what it says. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Pray. I mean, we pray. You pray to who? Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shah. Okay, you gotta pray to those names. That's why. They, that's why this was given to us. All right, you can't just call the Lord any old thing and expect the Lord to listen to your prayers. Right? That's confusion. Right? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. That's right, man. That ye may be kind of worthy and Lord willing be part of that number. Lord willing part of the elect. You know, that's why we're doing this thing. So Lord will be kind of worthy, man. You know, you want to do it to the fullest. And we want you want to do it 100%. All right, we don't want to mislead the flock in no way, shape, form, or matter. Right. It says, escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And to stand before the Son of Man. That's right, man. All right, because when we get delivered, 
we're gonna be standing with Yahweh Shah. He's gonna be putting the crowns on us, like you like read in um, uh, Second Ezra, uh, thirteenth chapter. He'll put those crowns on us, okay? And guess what? We're gonna watch two thirds that didn't want to listen. You know, even these guys, these different, these different Israelite churches, these different Israelite camps that that might want that speak, but then they might say something, but then they say something wrong. They want to go all the way. We're going to watch a lot of them guys burn. You know, and Lord will, we're we not part of that. All right, so that's why we're doing this thing. And this, this is also, this shows faith and it shows fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That was it. So, with that, you know, you know hopefully, you know, your brothers is edified. And we're gonna say all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, Double honor to our apostles and shalom to the left. Shalom, shalom.